he said it's going great. Um, the other guys also said it's going great and that Mike's doing a great job. So, yeah, sounds like it's going awesome. Mike is, like, the best dude to have play in your band, especially if you play that type of music. There are people who are as good as him. Okay, Tuesday morning reset. Welcome back. Now it's glitching for the present. I am getting, like, the little, like, red light to indicate that, like, now it's green. A moment ago it was red. So it might be a combination. Because now it seems to be something on my end. Um, oh, yeah, so there are people who are as good as Mike at that type of music. But I don't think there's anybody who is better than Mike at that type of music. That type of, you know, uh, m moshy metalcore. Uh, okay, present says it was glitching there, but it was only short and sound is not affected. Okay, cool. Uh, there's nothing interesting visually going on at the moment, so. Um, Muddy Jake trying to think it out and see if he'll be staying on full time i bet he is uh maybe you know i think they're uh you know i don't know they haven't they haven't said anything one way or another so maybe they're seeing how uh they all like this but uh mike is the chillest dude and also the best guitar player for uh any sort of mashi metalcore um and I was not surprised that he learned all their stuff as quickly as he did because, I mean, he's filled in for so many bands where he's got to gotta learn a set right off the bat. And those dudes, I think, are more um, professional about being like, well, here's how to play the songs. Whereas I think some of the bands he's filled in for, he's just had to like listen to the CD and, and learn it, you know. Um, but yeah, hopefully he sticks around full time. Um, he's, he's a great fit, you know, he's already friends with those guys. Uh, he lives around here just like Vincent and Kevin. Um, you know, uh, he knows Devin and Griffin from touring in other bands together. He's, a uh, yeah, he's a rad dude. Love him. I do too. We have, ma we have matching tattoos, and they're ridiculous. But I can't tell you what it is. No, I could. I just don't want to. Yeah, Mike's a good dude. The other guys are good dudes. It's match made in heaven, in my opinion. Okay, let me set this over here. I had a good setup going the other day for streaming games... And then, uh, I was like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta set up my soldering station. And I never really, like, picked it up properly when I put it away the other day. So, you know, have not presumed to have achieved perfection. Getting there, maybe. Jake, are you gonna catch any of those shows? I know, uh... Pi Pro was talking about trying to catch um, one or two of those at Casey Strange shows. Man, what the fuck? Everything's all tangled up. Well, here's part of my soldering station. The brains. You don't think any of the tour dates are close enough for you? Totally understand. None of them are close enough for me. The closest one, I think, is in Horseheads, New York, wherever the fuck that is. I'm, like, kind of an old man now. Like, before I'd be like, oh, only three hours? Then there's another one the next day that's six hours? I'll just go to both. And I'll have hanging out. Now I'm like, ah, uh, I'm old and tired and um more so uh 
a little freaked out by germs still. Horsehead is not far. That's the impression that I, that I was under. If Horsehead is not far for you, that means it is far for me. Not far for like 2017 John Torn, but far for 2022 John Torn. Actually, I didn't even go to see a Casey Train when they played in Albany. I was like, I don't be in all those fucking germs. First time I had uh, missed them locally in over 10 years. Since Tony started playing with them. The Tony era was when I first started appreciating a Casey Strain. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, should I plug this into the wall? Probably. Mm, that would make it a lot easier to use if I plug the power in. Plug it in over here. The other stuff on the kill switch. Okay. Oh. Um, goggles. Where the fuck did I put them? Oh, there they are. Hachi machi. True again. I gotta clean these. I can see fine, but, you know. A fume extractor, aka smoke absorber, is on for safety. Soldering iron is warming up. All I need to do right now is remove this one wire because we're not using it for the, mod, the screen mod we're going to do. Okay. You didn't really know much about TAS until Devin joined. I respect that uh, Ohio pride. Not even going to fuck with them until they get a dude from Ohio in the band. Strong Brother DS. Also a Twitch streamer. So I didn't, I didn't fuck with them until they got an Albany, Albany person. Which the first time around was Tony Diaz. But then... Um, by the time Tony left, you know, Vincent had become an Albany person. And Kevin, so. No, I'm just being silly. I know that's not why. I think. Um, I so I, you know, I know people are like, oh, they're so much better with the original lineup. No, they weren't. Um, I don't think they're. I don't think they had a lot of good stuff before Wormwood, which, and I know Wormwood was written by the old guitar player and everything. I think Wormwood was their first good album. I don't give a I don't give a shit. And um and then the one after that I think was bad. Um and then everything with Devin. So the last one without Devin was bad um death is the only mortal but then after that devin joined and anything with devin a a everything with devin has been great it's like a whole other band in a good way i mean it's not like a whole other band because it still sounds like a casey's train but like it's like they were like here since devin they've been like here and i agree this lineup is the best um you know we already know what the rest of them write like together uh you know, Devin, Griffin, Kevin Vincent. Um, and yeah, the last couple records, Slow Decay and the one with the black and white cover, 
We're also written with time. But it's like, well, the one before that, Grave Bloom, was written with before time, and it was Devin, Griffin, Kevin, and Vincent. That's it. And those four dudes are still in the band. If Mike ends up writing with them, I don't know if he's going to write with them or not, but it can, it can, it can only go up. Like Mike can, uh, Mike, Mike can do no wrong. So yeah, this is for sure the best lineup. I think I might... I don't know why I put my fucking magnifying glass. Oh, I ordered a new uh, USB... Microscope. From AliExpress, so it'll take quite a long time.